Hey guys, what's going on? Making a quick video here. I've been promising for a while that I would make a video showing how to make ISO images of games that you own if you want to play it on your computer on one of the emulators like EPSXE or PSX 1.13. Um, okay, so I'll start off. First off, you're going to want to get alcohol 52% right there. And you can just type this into Google and the first thing that pops up should be the correct downloading place. You don't want to get it off download.com or CNET because it's going to give you the trial version and that only lasts about 15 days. So this one should last forever and you'll be set. Alright, so you're going to want to install that to whatever and then uh, of course put in the CD that you have of the game <clears throat> and then we'll open up alcohol. You see some of the games that I already have on my computer here. And once it's in the CD drive, we're going to open up Image Making Wizard. Now, this is where you have to set some things. I think it saved the options that I have already, so I'll have to walk through some of these things, I think. Now, read speed, I always put it maximum. Um, obviously, that should be where your CD is in your burner. You're going to want to make your data type PlayStation, assuming it's a PlayStation game. If it's PlayStation 2, obviously, make it that. Now under reading options, uh, the game I'm using is Final Fantasy Tactics, so I would keep it like that, I assume. Or um, if it's multiple discs, I usually do like Final Fantasy Tactics underscore disc 1. Save it to my desktop, I'll make a folder on the desktop later then. And you're going to want to make sure that it is not an MDS file, but a clone CD image file, CCD. Skip reading errors you don't need. You're going to want to read sub-channel data from current disk. That's necessary, I think. And I th think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that should be good. So then you're going to want to start, and it'll bring this up. And it'll go through the whole process of making the ISO image. I'm going to cancel it, though, because I do not want this right now. Finish that. And that pretty much is how easy it is to make an ISO image of the game. I mean, the next part is emulators, but that stuff's pretty easy, and I could let you guys figure that out yourselves, I think. So, happy gaming.